I took the all new Sony A7C to California with my wife, Lindsay, for a destination wedding, some time in Carmel, Napa, and San Francisco. Let's talk about it. Lindsay's get ready with me coming to YouTube next week. So first off, I kind of feel like this is the sixth time I'm doing the exact same camera review this year. Sony has released a lot of cameras recently and they are all very, very similar. They have a battery, a memory card, and a spot for your, your face to look at through. But more importantly, the internals are all kind of the same-ish. My friend Donna put this very nicely that it's kind of like you, you go in to buy a car. Here we have our Genesis. Lindsay's excited. And there's a bunch of different packages you can get on the same vehicle. Some have faster engines, some have a little bit more tech, some are maybe a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, but they're all pretty much the same. And right in the center of all those packages, the Sony a7C is kind of the best all around camera of all of these releases, in my opinion. Here, I have the 16 now, so I can do this shot. New York City. Oh, sorry to interrupt here. Canada Photo Summit coming soon to here in Waterloo. I'm in the studio right now. The hotel I can see, the theater I can see, and the restaurants we're gonna be doing stuff at. So if you wanna come and see these smiling faces that are on the screen here, Eric Floberg, Sam Hurd, John Branch, Nova Marquina, Christine Tremolay, my wife, Lindsay Coulter, and myself, you can come on out here and it's gonna be fun. It's 85% sold out already at the time of recording this. So get in quickly if you are interested in coming to Canada Photo Summit. This year we have the Sony ZV-E1, the ZV-1 Mark II, the Sony A7C Mark II, the Sony A7CR, and the Sony A6700. And then last year we got the big brother, the Sony A7R Mark V, which is what I use as a main camera most of the time. You have the Sony ZV-E1 if you want a primarily video focused camera. The nice feature on that is 4K60 has no crop, but it only has 12 megapixels. So your 4K footage will be the absolute best. The larger pixels have more light in, less noise, better dynamic range, but 12 megapixels is a little bit sad if you're a hybrid photo video creator. You also now have the Sony ZV-1 Mark II, which is the smaller crop sensor option. The Sony A6700, if you want the top of the line in APS-C. The Sony A7CR, if you want high megapixel photos, but don't mind paying a little bit more. Or the Sony A7C Mark II, which is what we're here to talk about today. Well, it's recording, it's not a photo. The hotel we're staying was the uh, place that the Macintosh computer was first unveiled by Steve Jobs to his dev team. That's nice. Oh my gosh, it's Lindsay Coltier. Excuse me, miss, what do you do for a living? As a stills camera, the Sony A7C Mark II is a great option. I've been using the A7 IV and all of the internals basically from the A7 IV have come into this C Mark II and I've been very happy with it in my professional work as well as in my personal work. Here on the screen, you see some straight out of camera JPEGs from the Sony A7C Mark II. We're touring. We're whining. We're whining and touring. This is my new hat. It says wine girl. We're here in Napa Valley and we're going to go see some wine. This is my new dress. Taylor bought me a dress. How cute. The beautiful Napa River as documented by the Sony. <coughs> Excuse me. You're ruining my narration. Sorry. This is a bad frame of our hotel. I don't know if there's a better one. Maybe out front. Morning. Morning. Tony? Yeah. Taylor. Good to see ya. Hi. Lindsay. Lindsay. Nice Pleasure. to meet you, Tony. Pleasure.
So I will say that the wide angle lens of the 16-35 GM2 when paired with active stabilization and also this camera, there seems to be enough rolling shutter that it makes the active stabilization a little bit wonky if you are trying to walk with it. So just something to be aware of. This will also ring true on the Sony a7CR as well. And uh, I did not notice that warble at all using the 14 millimeter lens on the Sony ZV-E1, which is the more video centric model that's been released this year. The Sony a7C Mark II is an incredible camera for a hybrid photo video creator. I like the fact that it has 33 megapixels, which is just about perfect for me. It's not too much like the Sony a7CR, which I don't really need the additionals, but it's also not 12 megapixels like the ZV-E1. Unfortunately, the C2 will not be replacing my a7 IV because it only has one card slot and I prefer having two. Red's on the move. Red's on the move. Reds. So there it is, the Sony A7C Mark II, an incredible general camera, and I mean general in the best way possible. Also, if you are a photographer, Focal has just released AI blogging and Insta blogging. So if you're uploading that wedding carousel, you're sending those 10 images to Instagram, now you can very, very quickly build a blog post from that Instagram post, or you can just build it from scratch in the AI creator, which is also super, super fast. This product I'm very excited about because my blogging has gone from, I used to be real good, and now it's just, it's just sad. So I'm excited to get back on that with the tool that I just hit a few buttons and then, then it's there. Thanks so much for watching. See you again next time. I'm Taylor Jackson.